Yo, what is up everybody? This is Ryan Mahalik here back again with another video and today we're going to be going over a best of five I had with Hoopin. Um, we did a best of five Darling Bomb Farm Bomb yesterday, so we're doing a best of five um, all strats today. So we're going to get into those games and kind of chill and go over them. So first game is offside, pretty much always the starting map. And it looks like we both go Dartling Farm Bomb again on this map, so lots of Dartling Farm Bomb gameplay from us. Both gonna go for anti stall round one here. And send to 275, I think. Yeah, I send 275. Reason being, um, when you send 275, you get up your powerful darts as well. So you preserve your leaks, and then you pretty much perfectly afford your plantation. Oh, it looks like. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how that happened. He sent 275 and perfectly afforded it. I was two dollars off, but you're supposed to perfectly afford it. But either way, I still was able to get my plantation in time, so we got the same amount of bananas at the end of the day. <clears throat> so a couple of things I kind of want to talk about this channel a little bit. I've been putting a little bit more effort in my videos, as you saw. I had a thumbnail on the last one, and then I'm trying to incorporate some like cut some clips out like when I switch between battles and that type of stuff during these games to kind of um help the quality of the videos a little bit and I also want to add some background music so if you have any other thoughts on like what I can do to my videos to kind of like make the experience a little bit better that'd be great for me to hear I want to do live comms in the future for sure because the only reason I don't do live comms at the moment is because um to do so, I'd have to play on my PC, because I record these battles on my PC and play them on my phone. My phone doesn't have a screen recorder, and I'm really bad on PC but for the, at the moment, so I need to figure out a way to screen record my phone, or just get better on PC to do live comms pretty much. But once I get to that stage, I definitely want to do live comms and play some arenas and that type of stuff as well, instead of just post comms on games. But besides that, back to the gameplay. We both force clusters um, with yellows and whites. Do the classic uh, camo leads to force the Bluntonium darts. And then I think I go for a normal round 14 rush here. With some zebras. Boosted zebras, of course. And again, he doesn't boost right away, which is a problem. You're supposed to boost against that. And it looks like he goes down. So, so game 2 of this best of 5 is on Dread Balloon. And it looks like Dartling Bomb again, so... We have two more Darling Bomb g games from me and Hoop in here. We both go for the corner spot. I kind of like this spot a little bit more than um the classic spot over here where my cursor is. And the re reason being, this spot will get blocked a little bit from balloons over here. And you kind of want your Dartlings to target up here where my cursor is because that's where the black layer is going to appear from like when you're popping leads and stuff. And you don't want those leads to regrow because that's really how... You can die during those round 15 and 16 rushes. So here, we actually opt for different starts. He sends a 275 to get up his powerful darts. And I send 277 and tank the leaks. Now the reason why I tank the leaks here on Dread Balloon and not on Offside is because this map is longer and I'm able to um, save more lives because my dart will be shooting longer. So I end up... Triple spiking and only going down to 131, which is losing about 80 lives. But at the end of it, I kind of like that play a little bit more, honestly. So nothing too interesting going on. We're just farming on. And yeah. So a really cool thing that's going on right now in the um, BTD Battles community is there's this um, top 8 tourney going on where it's like me pewd btd salamance aquafire um troll brian chess pretty much the top eight people um all strats right now and we're trying to figure out who's the best all strats player so there's gonna be a really big tourney coming up there's definitely gonna be videos coming about it in the future and i'm really excited for it so definitely keep your eyes out for that but looks like we're going for round eight here he goes for his farm, and I go for a big yellow rush, hopefully forcing a boost here. That's the goal. And yes, that is what I do. I force a boost. He sends me one back. I just get up a frag bomb, and I maybe should have 
boosted here, but I end up just preserve taking tanking the leaks. I thought that was the right play. So because of that, I'm up a boost and I'm basically tied in farms, but of course he has a huge life lead. Round 11, I send him some whites, forces cluster, pretty standard stuff. Round 12, we both send the camel leads. And then, so I don't really do the round 14 rush on Dread Balloon. The reason being, this map's so long that you can pretty much defend the boosted zebras with his current defense. He might leak a little bit to it, but it's not really worth it on Dread, in my opinion. So we both go for around 14 BIAs, really early BIAs. Again, I'm up a boost and I have a slight eco lead. He goes, I go for around 16 rush here. Some free row leads and zebras. Honestly, probably wasn't too smart because I knew he had some money in his back pocket so he could defend without boost. And at that point, I kind of just wasted money on a rush. He ends up sending me a Moab, which is interesting. I don't really like sending Moabs on Dread Balloon just because um, the map's kind of long. But since I did send him that round 16 rush, it was actually kind of smart because it did force a boost. But in normal circumstances, you can defend that without boost. So now we're tied in boosts. I have a slight money lead and a slight eco lead. Now, the reason I go for my um farm here is because... I'm planning on cashing out my BIA anyways to defend a Moab. So I can get that farm to get some little extra income since I'll have more than enough money after cashing out my BIA. So we both send each other a BFB. Now my plan is to defend this um without boost. So I get up three Maulers, an Impact, and then I'm planning on getting up a Cluster as well. And that defends pretty hand easily. And then he has to end up boosting because he um, thought he was going to defend with his current defense and it just got too far. And we both go for a second BIA as well. So now at this point I'm up a boost, so I'm pretty happy with that. Round 22, he looks like he sends some leads with it. That's going to do nothing because I have an impact. So sometimes in these like round 24 and round 25 rushes, you can do a sneaky rush where you send in some camel ceramics along with the um, AI ceramics, but in this case it's not really worth it since we both have four dartlings down. But if they only have like two dartlings or something, then those rushes can definitely be effective and either kill them, force like a hydropods or a boost. So here, I don't really know why he does this rush. He sends me two BFBs, round 24, which... It's pretty easy for me to accumulate the money to defend these. I don't have to cash out or anything. And I'm planning on defending these without boost anyways because I had like 6,000 in my back pocket. So honestly, I don't really understand this rush. It didn't really do anything except for waste $5,000 in some eco of his. So I end up just going for my facility after that, selling my defense for those BFBs. And I have a farm lead now due to due to his BFB rush. So I'm planning on selling my other BI here around 27, I think. Yep, and just now I'm just spamming farms. And as you can see, because of that BFB rush, I do have a pretty nice farm lead. And pretty much nothing else is going to be sent until around 32 or so, probably. And then you're going to send each other's EMGs. Now he has to stay careful because he has only one boost while I have two left. So nothing that interesting is going on right now. I'm just starting to spam 0, zero cannons around so I can upgrade them to Maulers and, Maulers and um, Mob Assassins later. To defend the ZMGs. Really what you want to do when they send ZMGs is get up 
or your mob assassins and use the abilities right away. So then you'll be able to get the abilities back later for um, the rush as well. So you can use them multiple times. So I think I'm planning on sending him round 32 maybe, or round 33. Yeah, it's a pretty high farm game, so I think I wait a little bit longer, but again, he is only on one boost. And I don't really understand this, why he's spamming impacts here. It's not that smart in my eyes. You want If you have just like a Ray of Doom, that's good for all of the balloon layers. And then you just want to spam cannons or more, maybe even more Ray of Doom, since the Ray of Doom is pretty good in small webs as well. But going for impacts is definitely not the play in my eyes. So it looks like we both end up sending each other around 33. I spam my Moab Assassins. Keep sending him. And I use my first tower boost pretty early on, so then I can be able to use my second one to defend his rush as well. He uses his first tower boost as well. So as you can see, I got up my Moab Assassins again there. That's why I use them at the very start, so you can get them multiple times. And I'm defending pretty handle easily. It looks like he is as well, but I have one more tower boost than him now. So here I have my tower boost back, but I'm saving it until I get my Moab Assassin abilities to break these layers down. And then I'm going to tower boost to try to break down all the BFB and Moab layers with my Maulers. And it looks like that works out perfectly, and he ends up going down. Hoopin's second losing map is cards. So I go Dartling uh, Glue on this map, and Hoopin goes Dartling Bomb again. I guess I guess he's a big Dartling Bomb guy. Little got a little fetish going on over there, huh? But I triple spike the back. Don't really like saving spikes for um, Dartling games because I'd rather just focus on targeting my Dartling than trying to spike rushes. And I'd rather just use the spikes to tank lives, but. You can kind of do whatever. So I think I'm sending to two, tending to send to 275 here, and get up my powerful darts to save leaks. And it looks like that's what he is doing as well. Oh, I actually sent it to 274 because of that first game on offside. I got a little spooked when I didn't afford it, so I wanted to play it safe, but. As you can see from my money here, I had thirty-three dollars left over. So I don't really, I don't really know how I didn't afford that on offside. That was really weird. But I afforded it this game. So I at this point I thought he was going Dartling Glue because I don't really think Dartling Bomb's viable on this map at all. The bomb spot though is where my cursor is. Uh, if you place it right here, the cluster goes all the way around the circle, which is pretty nice. Or you can place it over here as well, and the cluster just goes around the other part. So round 6, I sent him some yellows. I'm hoping to force another dartling with powerful darts, that was kind of my plan. And it looks like he goes for it instead of the bomb, which is interesting. I would have just went for the 0-0 zero, zero bomb, but... He sends me some greens as well. I go get up a 0-0 zero, zero dartling, tank some leaks, but that defends pretty easily. Sends me round 8 yellows, I just have the powerful darts on that. And he didn't send enough to force a boost or anything. Two powerful darts can defend a good amount of yellows, but if you want to defend constant ones, you need three powerful darts or two with a boost. Round 10, we both send each other leads. He shows out his cannon. I drop down the glue. And I farm on. So at this point, now that I know his cannon, Cannon's kind of weak against those round 15 and 16 regrow lead rushes, while Glue's good against those. And Cannon can kind of, um, Cannon's not good against, like, Camo Ceramics. And the reason being, most of my defense is in my Dartlings, while his defense is going to be in a Cannon, which doesn't have Camo Detection. So those are the things I'm kind of want to, planning on exploiting this game. We both send each other Camo Leads. He ends up spiking them, so I just send him another set. Nothing crazy. And then I'm also planning on sending him around 14 Zebra Rush here, because that's another way you can exploit the cannon. And he ends up having to boost here. 
And he leaks a good amount as well. So I'm sending him a hefty second rush because his strat does go later than mine. So I need to make sure to play pretty aggro this game and try to drain them. I send him some zebras and then camo zebras as well as some pinks over them. And end up forcing a laser cannon. So that's definitely what I wanted to do. He had to sell his farms for that. So definitely happy with how that rush went. Round 16, I send him some leads and regrow leads mixed in with the AI. And end up forcing a second boost. So now he's down to only one boost. So at this point, I'm definitely happy with how I'm playing. We're tied in farms. I have 120 eco lead. And I'm up two boosts. He has a little bit more defense than me though, but so we end up both sending each other a Moab. And my plan here is when he boosts against this Moab, I'm gonna send him a rerush with all out camel ceramics. So I just need to make sure to defend this and not die. He sends me some camo ceramics at the end, which kind of spooks me. I could have honestly just went for um two one dartlings under boost and defended that, but I play it safe with a laser cannon. And then here I'm sending him a Moab, and then I'm going to do all out Camel Ceramics under it. And he goes for a 0-1 Dartling Spam and ends up just going down. So that's the end of the best of five with Hoopin. Um, he choked some of those games again, so not the best best of five, but it's always fun playing with them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy those quality of life changes I'm trying to make to my videos. And live comms will be coming, so don't worry. Peace out, guys.